Moist Critical. You guys know Charlie, the man, the myth, the legend, has a song with Andy. And apparently he actually released the video. This is Moist Critical, again, also known as Charlie, also known as Penguins Zero. Uh, he's a legend. He's f***ed hard with metal. I really got to have him on the stream soon. And he made a song that features my boy Andy Sizzik. Uh, he didn't put Termina as primary, though, Andy. But um, that's fine. We didn't need that. We didn't need more monthly listeners. Um, so uh, we're going to see this. I saved this song to see what my boy Andy does. Andy better deliver. Did you know that 82% um, of you aren't f***ing subscribed? This is... Hit the button. Why do you hate things? Have fun. The Gentleman featuring Andy. Let's, yeah, that's the boy. That's his name. That's huge, Lincoln Park vibes. That's probably why they got Andy. Oh, it's Andy! He's in a video! That's my man's! First of all, respect though, Charlie. Super Lincoln Park, instantly. I'm like, okay, now I, I, they, yeah, Andy's gonna kill this. Andy knows how to do this. Proud mo Nick Mo? Yeah, I feel like a proud core dad, bro. I got them as 23. Love Greystone, hell yeah. Damn, Andy's doing some weird, like, whisper, like ASMR, bro. Like, let's go. Where's the Twitch stream? The OnlyFans. Yeah, that's f***ing good. I mean, like, f G f***ing hell. That, yeah, that made me smile. That instantly happiness. Uh, when your bandmate writes better choruses for a feature. Yeah, um. <laughs> Apparently, I just need to make Linkin Park instrumentals for Andy. The f Breakdowns. I can make LP songs. I already tried to do it before. This is sick, by the way. They definitely ace like Linkin Park vibes. That's what they were going for. It's also like so crazy watching Charlie because I can't watch him without like him saying funny shit and saying like the big words that make it even funnier with his white t-shirt. So when he does the serious stuff, I like it's it's I want to laugh at the same time, but I'm also like, damn, Charlie fucking rips. Charlie's got such a good voice, man. Jesus, Andy. That's my man. Let's go. You think he's gonna do some screamy boys? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a proud core dad right now. This is very well done, by the way. I I'm also very surprised how much Andy is involved. Like, it's not just like a little fucking feature. Like, he's uh, an integral part of the whole song. He does more vocals than Charlie, I think. Yeah, 
break down! That's my man's, bro. That's my man's right there. That gave me a smile. Bro, they like made that song for Andy. That's fucking crazy. Like how they, I mean, we went back, like every part, they just kind of were able to showcase. I mean, they didn't showcase this fucking death court that he does with Termina, but like, geez, man, it's so cool. To see the worlds cross over again, Charlie, like, he's he's a legend. He's a huge fucking, you know, YouTuber, streamer, whatever. He's a really cool dude in general. And to see the crossover of that and, like, metal in general ever happen, but also that it's, like, my boy Andy. That's so sick, man. And the song, it's it's not, like, forced. You can tell the song just makes so much sense. Like, they wrote it and they're like, yo, we need Andy. And that was it. Like, there, I, I doubt there was more, like, you know, thinking than that. Just like, yeah, Andy would kill this. Like, oh, okay, let's just get him. And Andy fucking killed to do that chorus and that ending too. That, that's, that's a nice ending. Nice riff down. Show him how to do it, Andy. Put him in a Termina song? Yeah, I gotta ask Andy to feature in Termina, I guess. Jeez. What a beast, man. That's, I, again, claps to the homie. It's so cool to see Andy do that. I mean, I've known Andy for so many years, and he's always been a fucking crazy vocalist. Dude, I'll never forget the first time I worked with him. We did a Linkin Park cover of... Sa uh, why is that? Heavy. I always remember by singing the song, Why is everything so heavy? We did a fucking metal cover of that. And I remember the first time he sent me vocals back and I was just like, what? You, you, this man can do this shit. And it was beautiful. And then after that came Rockstar. Bro, I remember when Andy sent me Rockstar. To this day, I listen to it very, very sporadically. I don't listen to it very often. But when I listen to it, that shit still fucks. Because I remember when he sent me it. And I knew it was something special. Our, our, our rock star. I knew that shit was something special because Andy just has such an in insane vocal range and insane voice, but also me and him have this weird fucking synergy. And I was like, yo, this is gonna, this is gonna be something someday. Like I, I know, and it did turn into Terminal. But yeah, man, seeing my boy Andy do cool shit like this with the other boys, you know, Charlie and the gang. Respect, man. I fucking love it. Here for it. Let's go, man. I, I'm just I'm just gonna write Lincoln Park songs now for Terminal. You I hope you guys are ready. Moist Terminal. Dude, we got it. Yo, Charlie. Charlie, fucking come hang on a Terminal track. Let's go, dude. That'll be hard as fuck. Like, dude, Charlie's the fucking man. Anytime.